Hi, it's David here with Futures Trading. I just made you guys a video for uh, that 2 o'clock FOMC. I made you a video here. It's an hour and 13 minutes. I want to show you, you know, what you need to know moving forward into tomorrow because it changed just a little bit. And I don't want you to have the impression of the prices that was in this video moving into tomorrow. Of course, they responded in a way I thought could be a problem because I said it in this video right at the end. I told you. You're not out of the neck of the woods yet. You're not. But I want to give you the prices. So moving into tomorrow, for those, of course, that don't have my uh, my indicator, uh, I want you to have the exact numbers, if you will. Kind of going into tonight, I don't think they'll do too much that will alter the price a bit. If uh, you purchase the indicator, use the DTT bar percent indicator, and it'll give you the pivot range high and low. And you can utilize that information for tomorrow because yesterday's information, I'll show it to you, uh, play relative today, play relative. And I'll show you just that. So use the bar percent if you're in possession of my tool. Make sure that you use that. It's math. It's not Fibonacci. Please know that I don't do that. That's not it. If you're new to the channel, thank you for uh, coming by and just trying to give you some information in the trading space. That's useful. That's practical. That's the main thing. All right. So. Your chart is going to always offer you turning points all the time. You don't have to look left. If the market is going to turn, I can assure you, you're going to see it. And so that means it's going to happen right in front of you on that hard right edge. So you don't have to look left unless you just want to. All right. I just want to let you know that. So I try to give you a chart scale that's universal. Universal is applicable to all cases. Everything that I teach is universal, it means it can apply to all cases. And so it's not dependent upon some indicator. It's not not doing that. All right. So. If the chart scale is just too broad for you to capture a turn, I gave you the trend. If that's still too broad, I gave you the universal price action method, which is two bars. Now, if that's too much, all right, well, here we go. There's the universal threshold and entry. I don't think you're going to get any closer than this, uh, eh, unless you dive into you know some of the, the other various different information that I have. The bar itself, before it finished, I showed you in this video here. Well, I'm sorry, this video here. A chart that had a lot of red and green bars on it before we even got started and then there were some that didn't have any color in it the bar itself you can kind of get an idea where it's going to close so that's why i say it's the only bias you need because once you learn uh, to a degree what those specs are i can't tell it to you but once you get an idea what that is and again it's not fibonacci it's math it just makes sense once you get an idea what that is you can kind of know how the bar needs to finish how it needs to finish because there were very few bars and they were at course places that was either basing or turning you were at places where they there was some kind of deliberation and then it moved on and so the bars that had no color that's where they were located in the turns or in the base all the other bars uh, pretty much just was in the activity the run itself so knowing where that threshold is at is important it's universal is on every bar i don't care if i showed you in this video i told everyone back in march that april would be a bearish month so it's important to know i can tell you in advance to a certain degree just a certain degree and all you got to be right is 50 percent of the time more than 50 percent of the time i can tell you in advance uh, there's some important information that's going on and it's not what you think it's very simple so it's not a lot of steps i want you to go back and take a look at this video take a look at this video and watch the entirety of it so you can get a real idea of what uh, was happening the thumbnail that i put on that video was this all right so that's the thumbnail we there's that two o'clock bar. There's the FOMC kind of, you know, moving. And we read all of this uh, for hours and change before two o'clock. We read it all. There's those price levels. Uh, and remember, this was going to change. It depends on how far they move. It's dynamics was so fluid. But I told you uh, getting above these levels is important. That upper one, which is this one here, that's important because that's our today's uh, range, high and range low today. Okay, and that's fluid. It's real time. That's why I'm going to show it to you now because the market has shut down at five here. And I want to go ahead and show you what those prices actually are because it moved just a bit because they went up. It moved. So I want you to know what those prices are. And this is yesterday's levels. All right. This is yesterday's level. All right. And this is what that daily chart looked like. So now, okay, I'm just kind of slide. As a matter of fact, let me just X out of this and pull this back in frame. And I want you to take a look. Now, this is the prices that was on the market analyzer at the time. Now, this is yesterday's activity. So this these prices will not change. All right. Won't change at all. 
those prices from yesterday are significant don't be confused so your daily bias can be a combination of both it's just depending on how things is structured all right so i want to make sure that you're aware of that and only here will you see this type of information it's not online anywhere else i can assure you of that it's uh it's important it's important all right and again i've been doing this for many many years been doing this for a very long time it's very simple it's not hard price was here at the end of the video price was here all right now this was the uh prices that was uh, given in the video this is the price here and of course they ran down into it and then they turned around and took off they gave you one final nasty dip down into that 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 threshold there and then they took off and that's where the threshold altered itself it actually went up well where did it go it went up here into this threshold this threshold here that's where it went and i told you it wasn't out of the neck of the woods you go back and look at the video right at the end of the video right at the end i told you let's see if they can get back above here i told you it wasn't out of the neck of the woods you're just not am i saying it's going to stay down no that's not what i'm telling you but i want to give you these prices going moving forward because i'm not going to come back i want to give you some prices that you can look at and just you tell me that's all you tell me what you think about it under the video that's all and so here they were trading into here which is significant because they went in there and they went in there and let's see did they give us that distance not quite yet but it's, it's close they went in here now am i saying they're going to go up no i told you if they were to go down they will break this shoulder and wind up down here somewhere you know and i told you in yesterday's video uh, where i think it would be at on the monthly when i sent that alert out uh via email to everyone in march 31st i told everyone april was going to be bearish but if they are to turn I, I put this on here for you i put that zone here for you but they turned yesterday again this was that that high up there and they rotated off of this range high here of this bar trading beneath that close that range high and they just cascaded down i even told you yesterday when they were coming down i said hey you just don't want them closing back above i believe it was 883 or something it was up here kind of high 8, 783 somewhere up here it was up here as they were coming down and they came down of course they they moved the threshold just a little bit further uh lower than what i anticipated i didn't think they would want to make it so far just yesterday but they did now they need to clear uh, this threshold and really let's just go with this one just look at today's levels i don't think they'll do much more today at least i don't expect that will be the case so these prices moving forward is important that's why i'm back here to let you know that we looked at the news okay we didn't catch the 9 30. i want you to go ahead and do that all right so i don't want to allocate too much time to doing this again i vacated the space for a reason it's all about aligning ourselves and making sure that we're supportive of one another all right so and so i want to just give the space the library some information that you guys can finalize with what it is that i've already told you about price and there's so many other things that i know but this is simple this is simple if you want to get close use it i promise you it'll change how you trade because you can kind of get an idea of where where it's important for price to close we know that this threshold on this bar is important as well as this one and they ran up there and they managed to come back down let's take a look at that so these are the prices now and this is interesting these are the prices that we put into that video i'm gonna move them i'm gonna move them so that way you can get an idea of where it's going uh moving forward so let's move these six four five 50. again i'm using today so this tprh i'm using that today and for those again that have purchased the indicator suite use the dtt bar percent indicator use that it'll have the lines on the bars already mapped out for you all right so five four seven all right so we're going to move these and this is what it looks like now all right so i don't think they'll do too much tonight uh, they may want to close beneath here uh, they may want to close beneath here uh, tonight if they want to go down if they want to go down if not they may fight to come back up here they may and that'll be this so that 547 547 and so then tomorrow i want you to because these prices here will move over here okay once the bar closed they will move to here okay and then whatever tomorrow's activity is i want you to start gauging what it is that i showed you in the prior video try to get a handle on what it would do uh given you know how it's trading given how it's trading just get an idea like i showed you here in this video before the fomc we put those levels those levels in there we put those levels in there and you can go again go back and take a look and they rally from it so you can know your bias you can know it you can know it and kind of have an idea where your ceiling and your floor should be at as well 
All right. So again, my information is below every video, every video. I, I make sure that I stand by what it is that I, I place online because it's simple. It's not complicated. There's not a lot of steps. You don't have to spend all your weekend doing a lot of hindsight. Hindsight ain't never stopped me out has never stopped me out. It's the real time. And the real time is the thing that I want to help you with. All right. So I wish you all the best with your trading. Take care.